Annie. Can you hear me, Annie? Shanita, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, how are you today? Today was better than yesterday. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. And you, what about you? I'm I had good. a good day. Um, uh, every day, like I visit different places during the day. Okay. You know? So my first class starts at seven in the morning in Lourdes. And my last class is with you guys. Ah, uh, really? But yeah. yesterday you you did you you say that uh, you have go to the Lourdes, Lourdes. Right. You have, yes. I remember. Be, yes, because right now I'm in an office. Uh, I'm in a call center where I do administrative mm -hmm. work. Okay. And uh, but before this class, I teach. Uh, I teach one that I finish at 7.30 p.m. So 30 minutes is not enough for me to go from San Salvador to Lourdes. So I prefer to come back here, teach your class, and then I go home. Okay. Yep. And Annie, how was your day? Annie, are you there? I guess not. Okay, and what time do you finish working, uh, Janita? Uh, actually, this weekend, week I had a, a, a little vacation. Oh, good, nice. So what yeah. have you been doing? Today. <laughs> oh, what have you been doing all this time? Uh, uh, actually, uh, recover my health. Oh. I feel a little bad. It does a reason. Uh, in uh, there's a reason that I be there in my house. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, good. Christine. Good, Christina. I will. I will back. Hello. Sure, Hello. sure. Hello, guys. Hi, Christina. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Uh, it was a little tired. Uh-huh. What do you do during the day, Christina? I I work uh, today I, I work at home, but but we we have we had uh, many incidents of the application and so I, I resolve many cases, many problems. <laughs> okay. Of the user. Okay. So are you like Technical support. It's similar. I I give support uh, of the applications, but no no hardware, only software. Okay. All right, that's good. Jose. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Jose? Doing good. Thank you for asking. You? How is it going? It's it's going well. It's going well. Yes. Uh, you still live in Lourdes, Jose? <clears throat> yes, sir. I'm still what, living here. What What part of Lourdes? I live in uh, Lourdes Center. Downtown Lourdes. Downtown. I, is that near the supermarket? It's the about... Lentos? No, it's near to the D-Gas. Mm, D-Gas? The gas, uh, Texaco. Yeah, the Texaco gas station. Uh -huh. um, about one uh, blocks, there are another gas station. Alba. Well, it used to be was, Alba. Was, yeah, it was Alba, but they now changed it is uh, changed the name, yes. Yeah, Alba is disappearing. Yeah. Okay. Now it's the gas. Right, right. Well, I usually put gas in that uh, Texaco gas station, usually before I go home. Okay. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. All right, so welcome back, everybody. I hope you had a good day. Let's start with a little review. Um, do you remember the activities we did yesterday? Daniel, Annie, Janita, Flor, Christine, Jose. <clears throat> we were discussing about the command. Yes. So we were discussing about commands. Uh, can somebody explain the function of commands? Anybody? Daniel? When, when you give with an order? order yes, order. very good. Uh, like Christina said, uh, we use commands to give an order. Are the orders positive or negative? Both. Both. Exactly. Both. Both. Can you give me an example of a negative command? Don't smoke. Don't smoke. You'll get cancer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Another command, another imperative. Yeah. Be quiet, could be. Yes, be quiet, says Daniel, right? What else? Don't shout. Don't shout, uh-huh, exactly. Have you heard the song La Bala from Los Hermanos Flores? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, do they use commands? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He says, make a circle. You make, make a circle. <laughs> make oh, noise. You make noise. Raise your hand. <laughs> exactly. Show me your handkerchief. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so, yes, um, those are commands. Uh, and what is the combination you're supposed to make when you're giving commands? So do you say close the door? Do you only say close the door? No. Uh, the, um, the suggest is close uh, magic word. Exactly. You're supposed to use magic word. Close the door, please. Use... Would you please close the door? Right? So imagine we're having the video conference right now and somebody in your house is making noise. You say, can you please be quiet for one hour? Right? You have 23 hours to make noise and you wanna make noise right at 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Right? So whenever you're giving a command, uh, try to use magic words. You usually say please, and when the person listens to you, you say thank you, right? Okay, uh, what else did we say about commands? Besides commands, uh, what was the other topic? We talk about weather. Yes, weather. we had a conversation about the weather. How was the weather today in San Salvador? Okay. It was cloudy. Okay, it was cloudy. What else? On, did it rain? No. No. Okay, it was sunny in the morning. Right. Yeah, it was sunny in the morning, but sometimes cloudy. What about Lourdes? Did it rain? It rained in the afternoon. Really? Yeah, it rained in the <laughs> afternoon. It was very short. It was like five minutes maybe, but it was raining hard. But it was just like five minutes. Yeah. In Santa Ana, it was um, cloudy. Uh huh. Oh, uh, uh, almost every, the whole day. Uh -huh. But now it's it's okay. Ah, I remember it's uh, what's raining like one hour. 
Where? In Santana? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Fine. There's San Salvador uh, one in the morning, really. What time in the morning, Flower? One, one, one a.m. Really? Yes, I oh. hear in San Salvador. Oh, good. Uh, how do you say, entonces fue la energía? Even the energy went <laughs> out. Yes. Really? Yeah. It went out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you had a blackout. Okay. Yeah. Um, does the rain wake you up in the middle of the night? Or do you sleep like a rock? I sleep like a rock. I sleep like a rock. <laughs> well, same with me. You know, sometimes... Uh, I know that it rained the night before because everything is wet outside, but I didn't hear anything. Okay. All right. So let's begin with the first um, activity. Let me check what we have here. Um, yes. Um, have you checked the platform? Have you guys had the chance to check the platform? No. No, no. Not yet. I, I can. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, definitely. Probably. Or maybe Friday. <laughs> okay, make sure you put it in your agenda so you don't forget. <laughs> okay, anyways, in the platform, there is one activity. There is one listening activity about a cell phone. Um, do you have a cell phone? Yes, uh, conversation with a cell phone. Exactly, there is a conversation about a cell phone. So do, does everybody have a cell phone here? Yes. 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 Everybody has a cell phone. <laughs> Second question, is your cell phone English or Spanish? Spanish. 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 <laughs> Why Spanish? How, how do you say no ponchaste? <laughs> you flunked us. Flunked. You flunked us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Where, where's the... Today I changed the language. <laughs> you say flunk. Well, hold on. Uh, this flunk. thing right here. Uh, flunk. Can you see the word? Flunk. So somebody asked you, hey, did you pass the exam? No, I flunked. <laughs> did you pass your driver's license test? You said, no, I flunked. I need to read more. <laughs> yep. So, anyways, so going back to the same question, is your cell phone English or Spanish? Spanish. Spanish. Okay, why Spanish? <laughs> because, because I learn English. <laughs> oh, so you're in the process. <laughs> I have some apps have in English. Uh huh. In the future. <laughs> <laughs> the near future. The near future. <laughs> okay. Today. <laughs> so, so, so you guys, so you say, well, you know, my cell phone is in Spanish, but I have some applications in English. That's good. That's really good. Now, do you see the chat? Yes. Yes. What's the question? What was the last animal to discover water? Water. Okay. What was the last animal to discover water? Uh, That's an strange question. In English, in yes, English, I don't know. <laughs> Only in Spanish. What was the last animal to discover water? Any ideas? El delfín. <laughs> dolphin. <laughs> oh, you're you're near. It's not the dolphin, but you're near. The man. <laughs> The whale, fish, fish. Okay, why fish? <laughs> what is the logic behind this answer? Why fish? 
Because he lives know. in water. Exactly, because water for fish is their natural habitat. So okay. he says, oh, this is water? <laughs> My goodness. You know, so what I'm saying is this. It, it sounds like Bob Esponja. <laughs> okay, so English has to be part of your life. It's mm -hmm. not only from 9 to 10 p.m. English has to be something permanent. Like fish, you know, like, oh, water? Man, that's my natural habitat. So what I'm saying is this. Your computer has to be in English. Your Facebook has to be in English. The chats that you use have to be in English. Everything has to be English. Everything has to be natural. So when you see English, you say, yeah, but that's normal in my life. It's not only from 9 to 10 p.m. It's all the time. Right? So, okay, okay. question three, when do you plan to change the language of your cell phone? In this moment. <laughs> as soon as I finish this conference, I'll change the language. Yes, as finish, I, no, as, as, as the soon. moment, mm. as okay. soon, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I finish this conference? Or? Yes. If yes, oh. I will change the language in my cell phone. Oh, we can oh. wait, me. <laughs> okay. Here, Google Traductor. Now, let me ask you. Yes. 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 How do you say llamada perdida in English? Miss call. Miss call. Miss call. Uh -huh. How do you know? How do you for know? The movies, for the movies. And the telephone on my office is in English. Exactly. Very good. And that's exactly what I want to hear. You said, I know that it's miss call because the telephone in my company is in English. Right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you program your cell phone in English, your vocabulary will increase. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you leave it in Spanish, you will always see llamada perdida. <laughs> <laughs> you will never see miss call. Uh, uh -huh. no. Okay, how do you say llamando? Calling. Or Oh, ringing. <laughs> ringing? No. Okay, ringing. maybe ringing or wait, waiting? No, no, no. Dialing. You see the chat? Dialing. Yeah. Dialing. Yes. Dialing. 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 So, so what I'm saying is this: if you program your cell phone in English, unconsciously, you will learn vocabulary without any repetition, without making lines, without doing any exercise. Why? Because you see the vocabulary every day, every day, every day, that one day you memorize it. You internalize. Okay, when, normal. Right, and when you internalize it, it's normal for you and you use it. Right? Okay. So tomorrow, when you connect to the conference call, you have to go like this and show me the language of your cell phone. <laughs> if you don't show me the cell phone, you cannot connect. So maybe I screen it and send out the group of WhatsApp. Yeah, that, that will be your password to enter the chat, the, the, the call. <laughs> Good idea. All right, anyways. Um, so the, uh, the, the conversation in the platform is related with a cell phone. Let me show you this. I'm going to play the audio and I want you to tell me if you can hear clearly. Give me one okay. second. Give me one second. Okay. Let me look for it. 
Can you hear the lady? At first, I really. Hold on. Can you hear the lady? What about now? No, I can no. listen. Can you hear? No. No, it doesn't. Hear it. it doesn't. Okay, let me try this. Can you hear No. You can't hear anything. No. Okay, never mind. I watched the video video in the platform. And if everybody got to the blood platform and watch. But at first I could hear well, I don't know what what they said in that first. Mm -hmm. okay, hold on. I only hear a dog. The, dog. Only the, dog. <laughs> the same dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, the dog is coming. <laughs> okay, so let me get this ready. Um, so let's do the reading activity right now. Give me a second. Go here. Okay, you see the document? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, can somebody please read the title? A day, a day in your life in the year. Okay, but we know that the year 2020 is around the corner. Yes. So let me ask you this. Um, how do you see El Salvador in terms of technology Five years from now, five years from now, how do you how do you see El Salvador five years from now in terms of technology? What innovations do you see? Anybody? Well, the, the, the president said that we have we will have a, a train. This kind of class. Okay. So mm -hmm. Mary said, Mary said, um, we're going to have a train and that's technology. Roberto says, it's not going to be necessary to go to a school anymore. We're going to have a class like this. What other innovations do you see in five years? Probably la, the kind of jobs uh, increase another form to make a like home office the work uh, yeah okay daniel you were saying um, maybe but daniel um, Boreas. ah okay like janira said maybe in five years could be normal works in the front house we are not able maybe to go to the workplace and make some of the same activities but in house exactly another thing is a uh, you are working from home <laughs> yeah. like you uh, Google, global Many this kind of application right I, right I, so I, I hear 
I, I watch uh, uh, today in the morning uh, an interview about uh, the um, the topic like that. Uh, uh -huh. Innovation. Uh, innovation. The four G. ¿Cómo se dice? Cobertura de internet. Yeah, coverage. Coverage. Uh -huh. 4G. And they said um, it, it, uh, it's necessary the advance in the country to make uh, a lot of things to. <laughs> okay. You know. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, someone else? Annie, Christina, Nathan, uh, Nelly? At the, at the university, it's very important for the learning and another session on about the robotic, robotics. Sure. Yeah, robotics is playing an important role right now in terms of uh, technology. Also, uh, artificial intelligence will increase right. in the future. Also, the hybrid, auto, uh, hybrid cars. Hybrid. Hybrid cars. Sure. Will increase the, the this kind of car in the future. So, um, okay. Now, Daniel, when you say hybrid, what exactly do you mean? Okay, it's, it is a kind of a car that use gasoline and also use electricity to, Good. to work. Exactly. Yes. Okay, uh, did you um, read the news um, a couple of weeks ago about Don Bosco University? That they have an observatory now? Yes, I read the news. Uh -huh. Is that technology? Yes. It's technology. Yeah, expensive too. Yes. All right. Um, anybody else wants to say something about innovations uh, for the future? David? And I don't know, I think the cloud, cloudy computer. The? Cloud the, computer. The cloud computer. What is the cloud computer, David? And when you uh, save or keep the information in, in server in another country. Okay, fine. Anything else? Some days, some days ago, I was watching a, a video about a, a smart house that are in, in Japan. Okay. And they, they use this house for athlete, athletes, athletics in, in the next Olympic game. Okay. And, and what was so special about this house? Uh, everything the in the living room, there are a big screen. When you have a call in the phone, in the phone, you can see people in the big screen. And in the, for example, in the kitchen, uh -huh. there are a place where you can make tea, and you only tell to tell to only say how many people are and they calculate the quantity of water and and said in a lot of in, in no in a few times you will have your tea you can do anything else okay sure sure that, that's good uh, have you had the chance to go to certain restrooms um, how do you say chorro in English? Chorro in English? Faucet. Very good. Faucet. Uh, faucet. Yes, faucet. Nowadays, you go to certain bathrooms, you don't need to move the faucet. You just put your hands and the water comes down. That's uh, the knowledge. Right. Right. All right. You need the light. 
the lights too. <laughs> right. The, the towels. Uh huh. What about the towels, Mary? The towels you can you put your hands and they came out. Okay. Any others? Did you, did you <laughs> UFG? Yes, I did. They have intelligent building. Okay. And what are the characteristics of this intelligent building, Annie? I know I I don't know the you know, the the characteristic about the the building, but I have a friend in studying the, the university and told me about the, the building, but no specific. Okay. Yeah, so I imagine that you go there and... The doors open. Right. Automatically. Exactly. <laughs> yes, Christina? For sensor. I, I heard a few days ago uh -huh. that a company is developing a, a flight card. Okay. And I heard the car maybe fly uh, 10 meters, so, so, so I don't remember exactly, but it's an in innovation okay. for, for the countries or, or cities. The, I, I, how, how do you say congestionamiento? To help. Uh, traffic jams. Traffic. Uh, the traffic, to help the traffic jams. Good. Imagine, you know, and, and many of the things that we have now, we wouldn't imagine that 10 years ago, but now we have it. And the same thing happens in the future, you know, like we will have things that don't exist right now. Yes. It, it will make everything easier. Okay. Anybody else wants to say something before we read the article? No. Yeah. No? All right. No. So let's begin. All right. Are they in your life in the year 2020? I need a volunteer to read the blue part where we have the instructions. Can the article? Yes. The correct healing to each paragraph. Communicating, shopping, relaxing. Eating, getting around, working. Very good. Thank you. So how many um how many different paragraphs do we have? Seven. Okay, the first one is just the introduction. Oh, okay. Six. 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 Okay, so we have six. So your oh, mission, yeah. your mission is to choose one um one name for each one. Okay, what do you see in the picture? What's in the picture? Uh, a robot, robot making a salad. Okay. Yes. Okay, what kind of salad is he making? Maybe. Caesar. <laughs> Caesar. Caesar. A Caesar salad? Caesar salad. Okay, what ingredients do you put in a Caesar salad? A uh, lettuce. Lettuce. Tomato. Tomatoes. Uh huh. Chicken. Onion. A little cheese. piece of chicken. Onion. 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 Little pieces cheese. of chicken. Salt. Bread. Bread. Cheese. Corn. Corn. A little Good. chicken. Cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. Different things. Okay. Good. Okay. I need a volunteer to read the introduction, please. Me. Okay, Robert, please. People used to know more or less how their children would live. Live. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own life will be like in our future. But follow this how experts see the future. Okay. So there you have it. We live so fast that sometimes we're not aware of the changes that we are having. Do you have any questions about the introduction? <clears throat> Is everything clear? No. 
Yes. All right. Uh, uh, another volunteer to read the first part, the first paragraph. Me. Okay. Me. Please do. You're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot, and with its high-tech computers, your car knows how to get you so you home safely. Okay. Any questions there? What is the meaning of daydreaming? Anybody? <laughs> it's like have a, a good dream or dreaming wake awake. Oh, okay, oh, yes. Like... Yeah, daydreaming is when you are completely distracted thinking about something. How do you like say day... so... Okay, how do you say daydreaming in Spanish? In el nube. Or soñar despierto. Uh-huh. That's daydreaming. Okay, any other questions in the first paragraph? Okay, I need a second volunteer for the next one. Me. Okay, please. Say you you head for the kitchen when you get home. You ordered groceries by computer and an hour ago. An hour ago. And they've been deliver, delivered. Delivered. You pay, delivered. Delivered. Yes. You paid for them before they arrived. The money was automatically deduced. Deducted? Your, deducted. Deducted uh -huh. from your bank account. Nobody use cash anymore. Okay. This is my... This is my dreaming. <laughs> okay, so people don't use cash. Yeah. Okay, any questions there? No. What is the meaning of deducted? Deducido or deducido. Yeah, like, like, when they take money from, from your the, account. From your account. Okay. All right. Um, a, another volunteer for the next paragraph. Hi. Okay, please. What for lunch in the old days you used to start off to get a hamburger or pizza? Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which foods your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. Imagine, so now you will use a diagnostic machine and the machine will tell you what your body needs. That's cool. Aha, uh -huh. so you don't have to worry about cooking. Exactly. Uh-huh. Any questions about vocabulary? No. Okay. Another volunteer for the next paragraph. I have a question. Yes, Janita. Uh, how do you translate the use the of the of the word stop off? Uh start off. Uh usted se detenía a agarrar una hamburguesa o pizza. Okay, thank you. That, that would be the approximate translation for that expression. <clears throat> prepare, about prepare the hamburger. No. Um, it says, you used to stop off to get a hamburger. For example, you will stop in Wendy's or Papa John's to get something. Uh, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, any other questions about that paragraph? <clears throat> no. Oh. Okay, another volunteer, please. Me? Okay, go ahead. After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. 
you never have to commute to work anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. That's one of the things you guys <laughs> mentioned earlier. Look, work from home. <laughs> work from home. I, yes. work, I work at home. You work at home? Only on, on two, day, two days in the week. Oh. Where is, Who where is, is my CV? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> right. <laughs> Who, Who works at home? Who works at home? What's the question? What Who works at home? Mute? Okay. Okay. Roberto is asking who works from home. Me. Daniel. Me, I work from home. Daniel, me. Home office. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> but you don't know that I have more work to do. <laughs> Okay. You don't believe <laughs> because my worry is in the house. Okay. Okay. My yeah. cookie. I don't need. Yeah. Okay. Somebody was asking the meaning of the word commute. Can somebody answer that one? It's like a uh, travel. Yes. That's exactly what it is. Uh, uh, for example, if I said, "How do you commute?" Oh, I commute by car, by bus, by taxi, by Uber. So that is commute. Okay. Now, what are the, um, the disadvantages of working from home? No traffic. The disadvantages? Yes. 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 Disadvantages. <clears throat> you don't lose your time in the traffic and okay. you, you, uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money in transport and in commute <laughs> to the work. Okay. Maybe you don't have time to rest because you maybe you will work. Okay, oh, these are advantages. Ah, oh, okay, okay. The negative parts about working from home. Disadvantages. Ah, uh, okay. I think we, we understand oh, okay. advantages. No, disadvantages. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you have to consume you 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 don't you don't re have a relationship with your coworkers like you have when you work together. Okay, that's a good point. When, when you okay. are, um, how do you say, indisciplinado? When you are not disciplined. Are not disciplined. Exactly. If you're going to work from home, it's because you are disciplined. What's the consequence if you're not disciplined with your work? You will never complete your task. Exactly. People work more hours than when they stay at in the in the office. Okay. Also, we have more distraction. Exactly. Distraction. At home, the champion. <laughs> no, maybe the distraction come from your family. Exactly. Come from all the things that happen around of you. Exactly. So maybe what? A, a, in an office, you are, I no sé cómo dice, you what? are You're what? I, I, okay. I Okay. You're isolated. Isolated. In office, you are isolated. Okay. Now, do you think your cell phone is a distractor? Oh, yes. 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 yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that's why in some places, in some institutions, they don't let you have the cell phone with you because they know that people get distracted. Okay. Yes, also WhatsApp is one of That's them. Bad. Yeah, WhatsApp, Facebook, 
your personal email. Yep. Okay, now, can you mention advantages of working from home? Maybe another uh, disadvantage. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know, maybe it's uh, that you are using your own resources. So exactly. the light, you, you, the, the bill is increasing because exactly. you use the light, you use food from here, you used to eat more than in your office. So this is another disadvantage. Exactly. I never think about it, and that's a big reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you have yeah. to be careful. Now, what yes. can you do to reduce electricity? What can you do? Turn off all the lights we don't use. Okay, what else? Use the LED light. Use what? LED. Okay. LED light. Sure, sure. Use LED light, right? And what is better than a LED light? Uh, solar energy. Sol uh -huh. Solar energy. Sure, solar energy. Okay. Now, do you use natural light when you are at home? Yes. Like, like, do you open the windows and, and do the doors? Like uh huh. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Any other advantages of working from home or disadvantages? Anything that wants um, anybody wants to say something? Okay. Uh, let me have another volunteer to read the next paragraph. Someone that hasn't read, please. Yeah. My daughter won't. Okay, somebody, please. This, your information screen uh -huh. say that you received a message from a co working in Brazil. Have you, you set your computer to translate Portuguese into English? Your co-worker page appears screen, and the translation appears at the bottom. Okay. So there you have it. What do you do when you see vocabulary that you don't know? The translator. Look for a um, dictionary. Okay. Now. Now, when you say a dictionary, do you mean English, Spanish, English, English? Uh, English, the definition. Honestly. Right, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we use the Google Translator. Okay, how do you say desafiar in English? Challenge. Challenge. Challenge, challenge exactly. So you need to challenge yourself, and whenever you see a word that you don't know, you're supposed to challenge yourself and say, well, let me see if I understand the definition in English. Because when you use the translator, that's very easy. That's not challenging. So you're supposed to uh, uh, do that. Okay, we will. Okay, and one more, last volunteer to, to read the last part. Me, teacher. Me Yes, Jose, please. So, if you finish working and go back to your living room, you turn on the television and look through the list of the new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe you back to the future. Good. Back to the future. Do you remember that movie? Yes. Uh-huh. It is nice to meet me. Okay, now does this last paragraph, uh, are you familiar with something similar to this? Netflix. Netflix. Exactly, exactly. So when they wrote this article, they were not thinking about Netflix. And, and, and they said in the year 2020. Do we, we have Netflix. Five and years exactly. five or more. Exactly. And Netflix came 
many years before 2020. Yes. This book is from what year, teacher? I'm not sure, but I think it's like four years old, this article. Four. Yeah, like four years old, I think. Okay, so now that we have read the six different paragraphs, <coughs> you need to use one of these names for each one. So if you think that eating is the best name for the <coughs> first one, you say eating. If you think that shopping okay. is the best name for this one, then you say mm -hmm. shopping. So I'm going to make groups so you guys can discuss and choose the best answer. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's see this here. Hmm. Breakout rooms. Wait. I think that is all the group. <laughs> yeah, this is not breaking group. It's <laughs> working. It's working work all here. here. <laughs> yeah, it says return to the main session, but we are in the main session. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to come back to the main session. Anyways. We're the same, right? Mm, yes, it is. <laughs> we are all in the group. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is the best name for the first paragraph? Can we see the paragraph? Please? Somebody can. Oh, you don't the, see it? The, no. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Do you see it now? No. Hmm. No. All right. Maybe relaxing. Hold on. I must be doing something wrong. Do you see it now? No. 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 Send to the phone to chat. Okay. Give me a second. My God, I don't know where I went. Um, I try. Hey, I can see it. Someone else is sharing the screen. Okay, can you see the screen now? The, 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 the image? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Annie is sharing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so what would be the best name? For the first paragraph. Relaxing. Relaxing. I guess relaxing. Okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, so we have communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around. And I think the other one was, uh, um, hold on. Working. So getting around and working. So what is the best one for this first paragraph? Relaxing. 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 What about Relaxing. the second one? Shopping. Shopping. Huh? Shopping. Mm. Yeah, shopping. Shopping. Shopping is good. Mm, okay. What about number three? What's Eating. Your lunch? Eating? Okay. What about the other one? Working. 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 Work. Okay. And this one here? Communication. Communicating. Yes. And what about the last one? 
Getting around. Getting around? Yes. Now, what's the meaning of getting around? Um, go, go outside. I don't know. Getting around is connected with the word commute. Getting around is connected with the word commute. So, what about the one where the car is driven by itself? Is there a better name for that Getting one? Around. Yes. Yes. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh, what did you say? Getting ar around, connecting with your what? <laughs> uh, this word, commute. Yes. Um, the word commute, they go together. Okay. So in the previous, um, and there was one exercise where it says, look, you're daydreaming in your car, but you don't have to worry. So that will be getting around. And what yes. about the last one? Relaxing. Relaxing. Exactly. Relaxing. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions or any comments? No. No? Is everything clear? Yes. Yeah. The, first, the first paragraph, what is the word? Okay. Yeah. What is... No. Getting get around. around. Getting around. Oh, okay. Getting around. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to send you this image so everybody can have yes, access please. to it. Remember, all the topics that we see here in the session, you will find the same topics in the platform. So when you visit the platform and you start doing the exercises, uh, you guys will be familiar with the type of topics that you will be working on. Okay. Okay. Any okay. questions before we go? Nine, nine. No. No. Okay. No. Everything so, is okay. Excuse me? Everything is okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to finish right now. Thank you again. We continue tomorrow at the same place and same time. Okay. Okay. Have See a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. The language of the cell phone. Bye. Good night. Exactly. <laughs> Don't forget the language of the cell phone. Okay. <laughs> we do. Okay. I will Bye. confiscate them if uh, if I don't see English in it. Okay. <laughs>